हेलो एवरीबाडी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स और यू कैन से कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इंडेक्स नंबर रियल इन प्राइस इंडेक्स नंबर ऑल दीज थ्री आर वन एट द सेम थिंग प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो दैट यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग द थियोरिटिकल कंसेप्ट ऑफ दिस सीपीआई एज वेल एज द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन इन द न्यूमेरिकल दैट यू मे गेट इन द एग्जाम सो वॉट दिस इंडेक्स नंबर इज ऑल अबाउट दिस इंडेक्स प्राइमरली टेल्स यू हाउ मच द कंज्यूमर ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर क्लास रीजन मस्ट पे टू गेट अ बास्केट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज एट अ पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन कंपेरिजन टू वट दे पेड फॉर दिस बास्केट इन द बेस इयर उन्होंने एक पर्टिकुलर सामान को खरीदने के लिए इस साल कितनी कीमत दी है इन कंपेरिजन टू इसी सामान को खरीदने के लिए कुछ साल पहले कितनी कीमत दी थी so basically the purpose of calculating the cpi is to know the direction uh, that is increase or decrease in the cost of living of the consumer a consumer ki uh, cost of living mein kitna uh, badhotri ya ghatotri hui hai that will be decided understood using the cpi calculation since the effect of the price changes is not uniform on all the classes of the people different consumer price index number are constructed for different class of people so for retailers there may be a different cpi for uh, consumers there, there may be a different cpi for wholesalers there may be a different cpi because the effect of the price change is not similar on different classes of people every price change has a got a different effect on the different group of people poor people may be affected badly uh, with the uh, uh, price increase and uh, the rich people may not be affected much by the increase in prices so we need to calculate different cpis now what is the utility of the uh, consumer price index these index number are of great use in the wage or salary adjustment due to the change in price uh, jab humne cpi calculate kar liya accordingly government will decide ki kitna dearness allowance kisi particular salary mein इंक्रीज करना है सच इंडेक्स नंबर आर यूज यूज टू मेजर द परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ मनी एंड देयर बाय टू फाइंड द रियल इनकम ऑफ द वेजेस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल एक हमारे किसी भी कंट्री में सीपीआई uh, की मदद से कंज्यूमर राइट इंडेक्स की मदद से ये जाना जा सकता है कि व्हाट इज द परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ पीपल वॉट इज द रियल इनकम और द रियल वेजेस ऑफ द कस्टमर इफ वी कैलकुलेट दिस सीपीआई नाउ फर्दर uh the formula for the purchasing power of money will be 1 upon cost of living index and the formula of the real wages will be mon monetary terms mein kitni wages mil rahi upon aapka cost of living index jo ki aapne calculate kiya wo kitna hai multiply by 100 and you will get the figure of real wages such index number do provide the guidelines to the government for deciding the wage policy price policy income policy control of prices and the general economic policies any index number ki calculation par government ko ye decide karne mein help milti hai ki kab kitni wages mein uh, badlav karna hai minimum wages ka level kitna hona chahiye prices ki policy decide karne mein income policy decide karne mein prices ka control karne mein aur general economic policies bhi decide karne mein government को हेल्प मिलती है अगर ये सीपीआई का फिगर गवर्नमेंट के सामने है सर्च इंडेक्स नंबर आर यूज्ड इन एनालाइजिंग द मार्केट फॉर द पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज सो दीज आर द फोर रीजन फॉर व्हिच वी कैलकुलेट सीपीआई नाउ हाउ दिस सीपीआई इज कैलकुलेटेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी असाइन दी वेट्स टू द वेरियस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज बेस्ड ऑन देर इंपॉर्टेंस कोई गुड्स बहुत ज्यादा अपनी जिंदगी के सर्वाइवल के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट हो सकती है तो उनको ज्यादा वेट दिया जाएगा और कुछ को लोग कुछ लोग पसंद करते हैं कुछ लोग नहीं खरीदते हैं ना पसंद करते हैं तो उसको कम वेट दिया जाएगा तो इसी तरह से हम उनके रिलेटिव इंपॉर्टेंस के हिसाब से उनको वेट्स असाइन करेंगे द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी यूजिंग द प्राइस इन द वेट्स वी असाइन टू अ पर्टिकुलर बास्केट ऑफ गुड्स विल कैलकुलेट द सीपीआई विद आइदर ऑफ द टू मेथड्स द फर्स्ट मेथड इज एग्रीगेट एक्सपेंडिचर मेथड दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वेटेड एग्रीगेट मेथड एंड द सेकेंड मेथड इज फैमिली बजट मेथड और द वेटेड एवरेज ऑफ प्राइज रिलेटिव नाउ uh i'll be explaining you the formulas of this aggregate expenditure method or weighted aggregate method so the in this method the quantities of the base year are taken as weight so the formula for the cpi will become total expenditure in the current year upon total expenditure in the base year multiplied by 100 that is sigma p1 q0 upon sigma p0 q0 multiplied by 100 we have taken q0 that is the quantity of the base year as the weights this method is based on last year's price index in the family budget method which is also known as weighted average of price relative what are taken as weights weight in this case are the expenditure in the base period so and the price relative is price of the current year upon price of the base year into 100 and the weight will be expenditure in the base period expenditure means price into quantity of the base period so consumer price index will be sigma wp upon sigma w this is equal to sigma q0 q0 
मल्टीप्लाई बाय पी वन अपॉन पी जीरो मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड अपॉन सिग्मा पी जीरो क्यू जीरो सो द फॉर्मूला विल बिकम सिग्मा पी वन क्यू जीरो अपॉन सिग्मा पी जीरो क्यू जीरो इन टू हंड्रेड सो दिस इज योर फैमिली बजट मेथड ऑफ वेटेड एवरेज ऑफ प्राइज रिलेटिव नाउ आई विल बी पिकिंग अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन विच यू मे गेट इन एग्जाम सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट इन अ बेटर वे सो द क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन फॉर यू इज अ क्वेश्चन इज गिवन टू यू ओके सो हेयर आर एट कम्युनिटीज ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एंड यू हैव बीन गिवन द क्वांटिटीज ऑफ ऑल दीज एट कम्युनिटीज इन द बेस इयर and the price of the base year 2008 and the price of the current year 2013 you have been asked to calculate cpi using aggregate expenditure method and the family budget method so this is how you have been given the uh, question in a horizontal manner the table is given in a horizontal manner for the for making the calculation easier i will retabulate it in my answer in a vertical manner so uh, this is how i'll do it i have tabulated the communities like a b c d e f g in a vertical column and the quantity in the base here in the vertical column as q0 will be the quantity of the base here and the quantities are 2 25 10 5 25 40 1 and, and the price of the base here 2008 is 75 13 12 10 4.5 10 25 and, and the price of the current year is to, for the 2013 125 16 16 15 5 12 40 now for the aggregate expenditure method i need the total of multiplication of p1 q0 and the total of multiplication of p0 q0 so here i'll do this for p0 q0 i'll be multiplying these two columns which is 75 into 2 so this will be equal to 150 13 into 25 this is equal to 325 16 into 10 12 into 10 is 120 5 into 10 is 50 25 into 4.5 is 112.5. 14 into 12 is 480. 1 into 25 is 25. And the total of this column will be, using the calculator, I have found it to be 1182.5. Now, uh, the multiplication of P1 Q0 will be 125 into 2. I will get 250. 25 into 16 i will get 400 10 into 60 i will get 160 5 into 15 i will get a 75 25 into 5 i will get a 125 14 into 12 i will get 480 this was 400 this was 14 into 100 now 1 into 40 it will be equal to 40 the total for this column will be equal to 1530 now the, i will calculate price relative which is equal to 125 divided by 75 into 100 i will get 166.67 now 16 divided by 13 into 100 i will get 123.08 16 divided by 12 into 100 i will get 133.33 15 divided by 10 into 100 it will be equal to 150 5 divided by 4.5 into 100 it will be equal to triple 1.11 12 divided by 10 into 100 it will be equal to 120 40 divided by 25 into 100 it will be equal to 160 now i'll be uh, needing wp for this family for this family budget method i need a total of sigma wp so i will multiply the weights column which is p0 q0 and the price relative column i will get 25000 for the 40000 then 16000 and then 7500 and then 12500 Then forty-eight thousand, and then four thousand. The total of this column will be equal to one lakh fifty-three thousand. Now, the formula for the calculation of consumer price index using aggregate expenditure method is sigma P one Q zero upon sigma P zero Q zero into hundred. That is, it is equal to 
वन फाइव थ्री जीरो अपॉन वन वन एट टू पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड माय आंसर विल बी वन ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एंड फॉर द फैमिली बजट मेथड द फॉर्मुलाइज सिग्मा डब्ल्यू पी That is one lakh fifty three thousand upon one one eight two point five. My answer will be again one twenty nine point three nine. So this is how we calculate CPI using aggregate expenditure method and the family budget method. In this question, I first calculated the weight and I calculated the total of sigma p zero and sigma p one q zero, p zero q zero and p one q zero. For the aggregate expenditure method and for the family budget method, I first calculated price relative, which I multiplied by the weight column, and then I divided the total of W P upon weights total. Now the second question that I have picked picked for you for the consumer price index is similar to what we got in our Delhi University exam. So uh, you need to calculate the cost of living using the following weights. Food has been given the weight forty. Rent has been given the weight fifteen. Clothing has been given the weight ten. Fuel has been given the weight ten again. Miscellaneous has been given the weight fifteen. Now during the period two thousand to two thousand five, the cost of living index has risen from hundred to two hundred five point eight three. Over the same period, the percentage rise in the prices were rent increased by sixty percent, clothing increased by one eighty percent, fuel increased by. Seventy-five percent and the miscellaneous increase by one sixty-five percent. So, if suppose the earlier price was hundred, so the new price will be. You have not been given the percentage change in the price of the food. So, I have tabulated the data. Here, I have tabulated the names of all the part, uh, particular items that you have been given: food, rent, clothing, fuel, and miscellaneous. Here, I have denoted the percentage increase in the price. For the food, I have not been given the percentage increase in price, which I need to calculate. For the rent, the percentage increase in price is sixty. Clothing, it's one eighty. Fuel, it is seventy five. And miscellaneous, it is one sixty five. If I assume that the earlier the price was hundred, so the new price for the food will be hundred plus x. If I assume for earlier the price was hundred for rent, the new price will be one sixty. If I assume uh, the earlier price was hundred for clothing, the new price will be. Two eighty. If I assume hundred was the price for the fuel, the new price will be one seventy five. And if I assume hundred as the price of the miscellaneous in the previous year two thousand, so the new price will be two sixty five. The weights have been given to you like this: forty, fifteen, ten, ten, fifteen. The total of the weight I need, which is equal to ninety. So uh, I simply need to calculate the multiplication of W and P, which is. For the first row, it will be four thousand plus forty x. For the second row, it will be one sixteen to fifteen. It is equal to twenty four hundred. For the third row, two eighteen to ten. It is equal to twenty eight hundred. For the fourth row, this is one seventy five into ten. It is equal to seventeen fifty. For the fifth row, the last row, it is equal to two sixty five into fifteen. That is three nine seven five. The total of this column, which is sigma W P, is equal to one four nine two five plus forty x. The answer will be equal to one four nine two five plus forty x upon ninety. But I have been given that the uh, cost of living index is two hundred five point eight three. So cost of living index is given to me. As two hundred five point eight three, so I can simply place two hundred five point eight three as equal to one four nine two five plus forty x divided by ninety. So here I can simply find the value of x by using simple mathematical calculation. My answer will be. The value of x will be equal to. After this row, I will be calculating that x will be equal to ninety approx. Here, this question is over. So I have calculated the percentage change in the price of the food is found to be ninety ninety percent. Now the uh, next question that I have picked for you 
which is similar to what you what Delhi University student got an exam is an inquiry into the budgets of the middle class family gave the following information. You have been given the expenses on food 30%, rent 15%, clothing 20%, fuel 10% and others 25%. This percentage simply indicates the importance of food, rent, clothing, fuel and the other for a particular family. So you can say that these are the weights. So the weight for the food is 30, weight for the rent is 15, weight for the clothing is 20, weight for the fuel is 10 and weight for the others is 25. And the total weights are 100. Now you have been given the prices of the base year 2010 and the price of the current year 2011. So you need to calculate the cost of living index. How you will do this? You simply need to apply the family budget method for the formula for which is sigma w p upon sigma w. Now you need a p which is capital P which is equal to the price of the current year upon the price of the base year into 100. So 90 upon 100 into 100 is equal to 90 again. Similarly 20 upon 20 into 100 is equal to 100 again. 140 upon 70 into 100 is equal to 20. And 15 upon 20 into 100 is equal to 75. 60 upon 40 into 100 is equal to 150. Now WP will be equal to, I will multiply 30 into 90. This is 2700. I will multiply 15 into 100. This is 1500. Then 20 into 20. This is, this was 200. 20 into 200 is equal to 4000. 10 into 75 is 750. And 25 into 150 is 3750. So the total of this column sigma WP which I need for my formula is 12700. So my answer will be 12700 upon 100 equal to 127. So I have found that the cost of living index to be 127 so the prices have increased in the current year 2011 in comparison to the base year 2010 by 27 percent so that's it in case of any query you may contact me on the google classroom and uh, your queries are welcome and i'll be sharing the pdf of what we covered in this video in the google classroom as well as on whatsapp thank you